Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a wolf uh, mixed with uh, Chainsaw Man. So let's get started, okay? <clears throat> Forgive me, I have a little bit of a cold, uh, but let's get started. So right here I'm going to go into the nose of the wolf, just kind of like a little dash right there. And it's going to pull back right there for the top of the snout. Down just a bit for the kind of the wrinkling of the snout here. Up over here in the angry side. Okay. Gonna keep pulling back right here for the top of the wolf's kind of forehead. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, my coughing. Don't forget. Hold on. Gonna go in here, pull downward for the front of the wolf's snout. Down over here for the mouth. Up. Curve up over here. Gonna pull back. All right, right around that area. And kind of the more we look at this, uh, okay. So then we're gonna pull. So that's the top of the wolf's, that's inner mouth right there. Don't forget, if you like learning how to draw these mixtures, hit the subscribe, click the bell notification. Um, and also hit that like if you like these kind of stuff. Recommend the mixture to me. Down right here to the edge of the mouth. Curve down here for the bottom portion of the mouth. Looks very different without the teeth, but don't worry, we're gonna get into that. Down over here for the bottom. Maybe zigzag right here for some fur sticking out the bottom of the chin. Back. Down over here, zigzag on that side. Kind of a, and now we're gonna go around this area. Well, before we do that, we're gonna go in over here and draw the eye. So it's gonna be up, angled down angled cool gonna go over here curve up for the nose and maybe pull up here over here in this area curve gonna go down over here for the fang area up zigzag zigzag right here back it's gonna go in for down here up zigzag here for the teeth underneath. Curve a little bit more for the inner mouth. And now we're gonna go over here to the rest of the forehead. And now around this area, we're gonna actually cut in. And we're gonna cut in over here, up, back, down for the ear. We're gonna go over here in the back, zigzag for, I think they call them the hackles, right? Is that what they call it? When the hair stands on end? Down over here for the bottom of the neck. Gonna go over here for the ear area. Fill it in. Over here in the back. More fur. Kind of just in that region. Very simple shapes. That's kind of the one thing I want to tell you is that very, very simplistic shapes that make up um, this drawing, right? It's it's everything is simple. Everything's triangle, everything's like a rectangle. Down here under the eye. Line over here, line over here. And now we're gonna go over here and draw the chainsaw. So it's gonna, we're gonna go over here, it's gonna stick out kind of the nose area. Pull the line out, curve at the end. And we're gonna pull back over here. <coughs> right on. Gonna go over here and throw another line on the inner side here. Curve, back, in that area. It's gonna, for the shape of that chainsaw. All right, gonna go on the chainsaw and I'm gonna split the area right here. Gonna go over here in this area, angle for the spike, angle for the spike, angle for the spike right here for one of the chains, angle, 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 keep doing it very simple just kind of a triangle and then in between that I'm gonna throw another smaller spike kind of angled over here like that angled over here angled over here over here in this area this area this area <coughs> I'm 
right on. And you want to make it look like it's moving, right? So we can draw a third line, line over here, line over here, like motion lines. And the other thing is you can actually draw lines on the chainsaw itself to make it uh, kind of appear like it's been used. Same thing over here. It's going very deep into the mouth, right? It's coming out of the mouth. Let's do a couple of detail elements. So for example, right here, I'm gonna put a little dark space underneath the neck. Line over here. Line over here on this side. Oopsie daisy. Zigzag over here. line over here on that side and now I'm gonna go over here to the actual kind of difference in color in the wolf so over here in this area I'm gonna go right here maybe zigzag on this side right there to give it like a difference in color and that is a much thinner <coughs> a much thinner line because from this point on you can do details so right here I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in the nose of the wolf Like so. Line over here into the gums. Line over here. And line underneath. Line underneath here. Curve underneath the eye there. See, everything is just detail at this point now. Because now I have like the overall drawing and I can literally just kind of draw little, like little scrunchy shapes around the eyes, you know, little, it's everything is going to be very, very minor. Just kind of, just fun stuff, right? Like thin. And I want to keep it light on the actual, uh, I'm using a Sharpie marker, but you can use anything you'd like. I want to keep it very, very light. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, uh, there are coloring books. Uh, go check out the link below. I create coloring books about one every week or so. I'm going to put it on Amazon. So the link below you're going to see is an Amazon link. So it's an official Amazon. Go check it out. There's about six right now. One's on dinosaurs. And I'm just going to keep making color books every week. So go take a look. Um, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. You guys are amazing for supporting, and I really love you guys. Thank you, and I will see you next time, okay, artists? Stay positive, and I want you to go out there, and I want you to win, okay? See you soon.